Nothing made a huge mistake against Envious, or did he? Close, that kit was a footstep too far, and it is gonna be- He just clocked it on replay and counted down the ticks. It. He would've got the defuse. So nothing actually got off the ball. That was very close, according to the Dream Hackers. Dream Hackers? Whatever. He did have time. However, nothing said he went off of the bomb because he had the little too late run radio message. Who's wrong? Or is it actually the game? Short answer? He probably maybe had time? Long answer, if nothing told the truth, then DreamHack and me are wrong. And even if DreamHack is right, they were probably wrong in their timings. I say he probably maybe could have diffused because the game is so difficult to time. To begin, we want to try and see how long a diffuse takes. Five seconds, right? Well, actually it takes a little bit more than that from what I found. 5.021 seconds. I diffused and put a timer to start the first time the diffuse menu comes up. And you would think that at one second on the Sony Vegas timer, the little number on the diffuse would switch to four, right? Well, nope. It actually switched a tiny bit earlier than one second, but from there it was constant and taking about 1.01 seconds. So could it be something with me only recording in 60 FPS? Again, no. I made the timescale in game 0.25 and then diffuse, so it should switch to four seconds left on the diffuse menu at four seconds in the Sony Vegas timer. But again, it doesn't. I don't get it. Anyway, in the normal recording, it took 0.02 seconds longer than it should have, and in my slowdown version, it took 0.1 seconds longer than it should have. So we'll say there's a maximum of a 0.02 second margin of error since we're recording in the normal speed for these things. I hope that's okay, but at the same time, I don't want to give any margin of error for this, because while maybe the diffuse actually takes 5 seconds, I based nothing's timing off of this one, so it should stay pretty constant no matter what. The end is actually also difficult for me to time because the little one round message appears before the diffuse fit happens, so at the end I also can't tell exactly how long a diffuse really 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 takes. However, in all situations, there's only one frame between the winning board and the fading board diffuse menu, so we can give about a 0.017 margin of error at the end. Overall, our timings may, may be off by 0.017, so just keep that in your head. Next, we need to see the amount of time between the last time to defuse the bomb and the bomb exploding. The reason being to see the last possible moment someone could have defused when they went off the bomb early. I found it to be 0.984 seconds, but considering the 0.017 margin of error, it could be almost exactly up to one second, which would make more sense. But we'll stick with what I've exactly observed, and we'll just note the possibilities of what it could also be. Nothing's gonna grab it, does he have the time still? No. That's so close, that kit was a footstep too far, and it is gonna be the bomb gone, Envious will pick up- Whoa, 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 slow down, what just happened? There's numbers everywhere! The first timer is to track the time passed since Jordan started diffusing, and to stop once it reached the last possible moment the bomb could have been diffused. The second timer is used to find this exact moment by syncing the end timer with the bomb explosion, if that makes sense. You just need to pay attention to the first timer, and the second is just for someone to validate my test. So remember, a diffuse takes probably 5.021 seconds. So this is about two frames of a 60 FPS recording that he could have had to defuse the bomb. I really wish we had more time so we could completely rule out any margin of error, as it may, may be off if two of my measurements are off by two frames, which is very small. So now we can actually get past timings. You don't need to understand the previous part of the video to understand this second stance. So if you didn't understand it, don't worry, don't click away, just click the subscribe button. Alright, so nothing goes against what we found, and he said that he had the little runaway message used when he don't have enough time to diffuse. So this raises a question. Can you have the run radio message and still diffuse in time? If so, this fits exactly what we found. It actually depends what team you're on. First, let me show what it's like on T-side. So yes, a CT can defuse even with the radio if you're a terrorist, but it gets more interesting once you're a counter-terrorist. From what I found, you will never, ever hear the run radio command on CT if you have enough time to defuse the bomb, despite what a lot of people don't have evidence say. However, there are two situations where you won't hear the run radio, but won't have enough time to defuse. The first is if you defuse after the sound would have played, like if you started defusing with one second left before the bomb exploded. And the second is if it's very, very close to 128 ticks, but you still don't have enough time. Like you were one or maybe two ticks away from defusing, it's hard to judge. So this shows that if nothing was telling the truth of hearing the radio, he did not have enough time, and it turns out my measurements were wrong. Personally, I would probably believe nothing. It goes against what I usually do. I usually just stand for the evidence and I don't take anyone's word for it. However, in this situation, I don't see really any reason to be dishonest about this. So I would think he would be telling the truth and he wouldn't lie because there's really no reason to. 
However, if you went with the opposite side and think he still did have enough time, I would fully respect you. You have the evidence. I'm personally just gonna stray away from what I found for once. However, above all, I wouldn't trust DreamHack and their word for it. Not because they're wrong, there's more evidence that they are on the right side, but because at the time, they probably thought it was 6 seconds based on this Reddit post. But then again, none of this matters because America still beat those damn Frenchies even though they gave them a free round! GOD BLESS AMERICA!